お前は死んでるバウンタイムなんでいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい Right? Yeah. We're gonna do warrior. A. Uh, name. We're gonna do. Glorious. Tarnished. We are the glorious tarnished. Don't question the tarnished's glory. Alright. Uh, body type A is fine. Age, we are going to be mature. Or aged. Will be mature. Uh, warrior keepsake. <laughs> uh, the golden scene I feel like is the best one. Just gives you actual bonuses to your health, which is great. So, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm fine with the base body template. The detailed appearance. Let's do a little fun action real quick. Yes. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna make him very pale. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? Oh my gosh, so if I make him like this, he'll be fully ducked. Mmm, yes. Eat me. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> quack, yes. Eat me, quack. He's This man would be terrifying. Can you imagine this guy coming after you? He'd just be like, mmm, yes. <laughs> Alright, I gotta show you his face one more time because it really makes me- Oh, yes! It is me, glorious tarnished. Oh, but wait. Uh, let me show you from this angle. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Save to favorites. Yes. Okay, finished. Yeah, I'm gonna play with this dude. Yeah, I love it. The fallen. Tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. It was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Mm. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. This cutscene is very dense in lore, by the way. Hard to follow and when you first play. Night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. The Black Knives assassins are terrifying. Soon, America's offspring, demigods all. Who's that? Claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Oh, we're going to see so many of these friends. The mad taint of their newfound strength. Mad taint, bro. Triggered the shattering. Mm. The snake. Wonder what that is. A war from which no lord arose. She's awesome. What a fun fight. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished. This is like one of a million ye dead voice acting awesomeness. Lived. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Mm. 
for a loan. Chieftain of the Badlands. Ooh. The ever brilliant Golimas. One of the endings we could get if we choose to. Fear. The deathbed companion. Creepy lady, he's always trying to sleep with us. The loathsome dung eater. Mm. And Sir Gideon Othmir. My favorite line. The all knowing. Put 110% to the all knowing. <laughs> uh, what an epic intro. Yeah. And one other whom grace would again bless. Who's that? A tarnished of no renown. I would argue we have some renown. <laughs> In the face. Cross the fog to the lands between. It's Duckman. Mm. To stand before the Elden Ring. Yes. And become the Elden Lord. Oh man, I was so excited to play this game. Oh, we in it. Miggies. I forget some of the... The, uh... Ooh, Tarnished Wizen Finger. Forget some of the controls, but I'm sure we'll figure them out. The Leap! I played this game a lot when it first came out, and I haven't played it in a while. So, we'll see. But, essentially... Hello, friend. Um, this, most of the uh, FromSoft games have a theme to them, which is that you're supposed to die in the beginning. Um, that, yes, there's ways around it, but most of the time you're supposed to die. Um, and this is, uh, one of those games. So, you know, I'm just gonna speed through it so we can get through to the actual game. Because there's not much point of it. If you beat this guy, which I have done in the past, um, all you do is you go through there and you just fall off a cliff. So, you know, we'll just let him have some fun with us. But we will smack him once or twice. Whee! Look at that. Yep, there he goes. See? Easy. We're done. We finish. We fallen. <laughs> We're coming back, mayhaps. <laughs> Cutscenes in real time, hilarious. All your clothes like flap into place. Flap. That is the fun part about this game, is that all the cutscenes are rendered in the game engine itself, like in the game. So, it's just your character model, which is fun. <gasps> Yay! Their horse! Sneef! Sneef! <gasps> Give him that shake, why? Give him that shake! Don't worry, Torrent. Oh. Fortune is on his side. It's our maiden, but not really. We found him here. After all, I'll give the stamps. Stamps, stamps, stamps. Horse. Horse. One of his kind is sure to seek the, the Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. Mayhaps it is me. Mayhaps it is. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. <clears throat> Still waking up. Mm. Was it real? Was it a dream? Mm, must arise. What is going on in the caves? Hmm. Caves. Caves of wonder. Flask of crimson tears. And Cerulean Tears, so that's our healing and our mana regen. Heck yeah, dude. Hey, let's go hang out with this guy. Uh, yeah, the Cave of Knowledge, dude, we can do basic stuff. We don't need to do that. 
We don't need to do it. But let's stay with this guy for a second. We bow. Yes. Alright, friend. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> Brave Tart, take the plan of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. I won't. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Oh, these trees. Usually, at the bottom of these trees, there's golden seeds. But if you remember, I got one when I started the game. So, those let you upgrade your flasks so you can get more healage. And we're not going to run a mage build this early in the game. We might try to transition to it a little later. But right now, we don't even have to worry about it. So, we can upgrade our flasks and we can allocate our flasks right now. So let's do that real quick. Uh, flasks. Add charge to flask. Yeah. And then... Allocate flask charges. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Okie dokie. And... I wish I could. Don't have any sacred tears. Alright. So... Let's get in there, baby. So these things... You can technically get one of the things that allow you to get in here. A stone sword key. I don't have one. Um, and you can get down into the wild darkness down there. But we don't need anything right now from there. So we're just going to keep on a cruising. <laughs> multiplayer. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, for this playthrough, I'm not going to do much multiplayer, if any. Because I don't really need any. Um, I'm not going to do any of the subquests for any of the multiplayer stuff. But this is one of my favorite moments in this game. Is that you come up here... And you see the door, and it's like, oh. And you go outside, and it's kind of like that same moment that you get in Breath of the Wild. Where you first open up, like, that well, a little, like, crypt that you're in. And then you're just in the game. Like, everything you see here is just the map. And it's awesome, man. It's like, oh, you can go everywhere. And you can jump. First, Dark Souls game first true Dark Souls game where you have a, like an actual jump button. Um, grace exists to guide the Tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along their way. But look, I'm supposed to go to the church. Good to know. So, oh, let's talk, yes. let's talk to this guy. Tarnished, come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm. Unfortunately for you, however... You are maidenless. Hey, without plenty of maidens. Guidance, without the strength of runes and without an invitation. We got no maidens. We got no invitations, dude. Hold, <laughs> you are fated. Oh, rude. Well, let's keep Luckily talking to you. you. However, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Mm. Me. <laughs> Vare. What a play. For Take even the maidenless. You have no maidens? Are you familiar it is me. With grace, that you may also behold its golden dance. Yeah. Is the guidance of grace. Mm. Mm. Indeed. It will lead you even okay. if it leads you. Even if it leads me to my grave. Grace's I'm sure I will die in this game. Will reveal the path to Castle Stormvale, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric. Stormvale. The grafted. Ooh. All right, cool. It's time for castles if you seek the El All right. So, you get the first real test of Elden Ring, which is Oops. That guy right there. Look at him. See him? Many, many tarnished have gone and met him in the field of battle, and many tarnished have been vanquished by him in the field of battle. He is totally not supposed to be played first thing in the game. He is just a gatekeeper to check you and to make sure that you know that you suck and everything you do in this game is futile and you're never going to be good or have any maidens. <laughs> uh, but you can come back and kill him later and it's really fun to do it. Uh, but for right now, I'm not even going to mess with him. We're going to go to the church, though. Where's he at? He's down there. Cool. So yeah, those guys, there's a couple of them. Ooh, materials. Yeah. So technically in this game you can craft a lot. I don't do much crafting, but I do like to get the craftable materials because it's kind of clutch. Get the craftables. I like the craft. Golden rune. Woo! 
Um, also, I plan on playing this game a little differently than I've played previous games, where I'm going to try to cut together a bit of stuff into these episodes so that I don't end up spending 10 or like 100 hours of playtime or actual gameplay in this game. Um, because, yeah, this game is really chonky. It takes a lot. Really table. Um, strengthen your armaments. Yay. A blacksmith who can make my stuff even stronger. Smithing stone. Uh, I don't think I can strengthen anything, right? Uh, I have them, but insufficient runes. I guess I have the runes that I could spend if I wanted to, but man. And I can also that you're not off. Then why not perch? I am Carly. Oh, Carly, friend. Um, let's see. So here you can get some random stuff. The crafting kits that lets you actually craft, and then these cookbooks and the crafting books are what you can get to um get some stuff or like get the ability to craft different things. And then the wondrous physic. Um, is those these things are like little clues that you can get. Let's see. The land has been tainted by madness. It's only tarnished like yourself. Let's say you're a very well. Cool. Recommendation. You know, if you should buy yourself a, a crafting kit, Look at that. essential really. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit, <laughs> but the important thing is that. You... All right, cool. Goodbye. Um, he now. will tell you some stuff later. But for right now, let us follow the grace. And there's some boys. It's our first boys to fight. Oh, fighting the boys. Me and the boys having a fight. Look at him. Yes. He He's coming. Whee! <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, friend. All right. Cool. We're going to sneak on through to the other side. Um, and there's a, this game has got so much stuff in it, and this map is enormous. So I'm gonna try to go as straightforward of a path as I can, without just like completely jumping through everything. Um, and I'll probably do some farming off camera because I feel like there's a couple things in the game that it's really helpful to have, um, but they're not really like crucial to watch. So I'll probably put together some like smash cuts of stuff in between episodes. That'll make it easier so that we can actually get through this game in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm trying to keep series to like 10 episodes ish and keeping this series to a 10 episode limit is going to be a beast because you can easily invest 100 hours in the game just to be real. That boy is a sneaky boy. He's a big sneaky boy. We're going to sloop around. Meow. Hello, friend. A sneak. Into those ends. Hello, friend. Oh, hello, other friend. Yeah, I need to go there and I need to talk to uh, the maiden. But for right now, I'm just going to do some slishing and slashing. <laughs> ah, if you did not know, this game does have the same mechanics as previous Dark Souls games. Whee! And uh, I think a big change in this game is that. Uh, they do the delayed mechanic. So, like, a lot of the attacks are super delayed. They come way later than you expect them to show up, and it's just a fun time. Because later in the game, those delays are just really big pains in the butt. Come on, friend. How about thee? <laughs> gotcha. What, what you got in your chest? What were you getting? Let's see. I always forget what's in some of these chests. Uh, greatsword. Fun. If I was doing a greatsword build, it wouldn't be a bad pickup. Bonjour. Bonjour, mon ami. Oh. Oh, yes, my friend. Oh, I apologize for your friend. And yeah, since we're so quick, we can get in there before they can attack us, usually, which is really nice. So, yeah. Highly recommend. If you've never done a dex build and you've done, like, the classic, like, guts build, which everyone does, if you're not familiar, uh, Guts, the Guts Sword is uh, like everyone's favorite weapon in the game because it's super cool, to be fair. But um, I just, I don't know. I never really got behind all the strength builds all that much. It is fun to bog. 
I cannot deny the fun of bong. Don't bring out your horn. Don't do it. Who's gonna do it here? I swear. I swear he was about to toot his horn. Toot toot toot. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I was not expecting him to do that. I didn't see him come up on me. Oh, this game is great. Come at me, foul beast. Come at me. Hmm. I'm just gonna be looping around you. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, if you've never played this game, those guys are a problem. Heal. Oh, he's called his friends. Ooh. 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 Come on. Dance the dance with me, friend. I'm gonna loop. How rude. Rude. Come to me, friend. Also, Dark Souls. Uh, the classic technique of run into the attack. Don't run away from the attack. That is crucial. Because running away from the attack is a surefire way to get murdered. So, easy pickings from the big boy. And he doesn't drop anything. But you're sitting there and you're like, come on, man. <laughs> he was the only hard one here. Oh, so I picked up a map. I should have said it. I was getting attacked. And I got a little scared. <laughs> but that, those things right there are map things. And you can get... I'll show you. Well, actually, probably shouldn't show you. But you can get maps. So now I've got Limgrave. Look at that. And there's information over there. Come, friend. Bring yourself. Come. Um, we do the circles. Oh, the circles. <laughs> I'm telling you, every game has a way to cheese, and this game has a way to cheese. Uh, golden or the shiny skulls have. Oh, there's a perfect dog. Perfect dog. Gotcha. And I saw. I done seen you, other perfect dog. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, rude. Rude, rude. Get him. Get him. Now where's that pirate dog? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh look at him! Hey, I'm just gonna go hang over here. Don't mind me, I'm just a dog. <laughs> oh, no danger! One of these chests. Okay. Uh, whetstone knife. You can use ashes of war to grant your armaments new skills. Excessive grace. Your armament can only have one skill. Any skill it, pre it previously had will be removed. An armaments type determines what skill it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted a new one. We got the stamp. Um, yeah, 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 cool. War stomp. Cool. And a whetstone knife. I'm so pumped for the DLC because it is so rare that I get to play a DLC and it's going to be the first DLC I play with you guys. And I haven't played before for Dark Souls stuff, which is going to be awesome. And I really don't feel like Elden Ring is like that Dark Soulsy. It's a little Dark Soulsy, but it doesn't feel like the same as the rest of the games. It's just so big and so much of Dark Souls is like the level layout. And this one doesn't have the same layout. It's got similar stuff, but not the same. Oh, we're just going to sit at the Sight of Grace. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I forget that I'm a duck man. Mm. It is me, duck man. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. Traveler from beyond the fog. It is I, the fog traveler. I am Melina. <clears throat> Not to be confused with Melania. Very crucial difference between the two. A maiden. <laughs> But not really. Technically. Technically not a maiden. I offer you an accord. A an accordion? <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic pops up and starts playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard of the Finger Maidens. The two fingers. Offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. Mm hmm but you, I am afraid, are maidens. Don't listen to her ghosts. I've got lots of maidens. 
I can play the role of Maiden. <laughs> Turning runes into strength. Yeah, so she's basically our doll from Bloodborne or like, Ring. you know, uh, any of the other main ladies Maiden from the Dark Souls franchise. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Yeah, girl, you can come with me. Then it's settled. <clears throat> Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. I will do that. Ah, I bequeath to you this the ring. Spectral steed whistle. Use it. It will summon a spectral torrent. Has treat him with respect. Oh, a torrent. Uh, first of all, I can't level Shall up, I can I? Let my hand share them with me. Oh, I totally can. Your thoughts. Great. I'm going to level up my dexterity because that is going to make my stuff do more. Great. And then, um, you know what I'm going to do? Horseback riding. Um, okay. Great. Yep, 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 yep. I want to go back to yes. the church because I think now that it's nighttime, I can go there and talk to my lady. Who's my totally my girlfriend? This way, tarnished. <clears throat> May I have a word? <gasps> my girlfriend's here. Hello. Look, it's my girlfriend. A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. Oh, pleasure is all mine. I am the witch Rena. Oh, is it Rena? I tell mm. the tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. That's me. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Darn tootin', baby girl. Possessed to the power, no. Yeah. To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Mm hmm. That's right. Many handed lady. As I had hoped. <laughs> I was entrusted this for thee. Give it to me. My Torrent's former master. Look at all her hands. The spirit calling bell, the lone wolf's ashes. The bell calling forth, summon them with it. The spirits will obey thine command. Now Great. it is thine. Um, cool. Various spirits. I can call him Far. So, now, if I go into my equipment, I have, uh, oops, where's my... I forget how to do that. Well, I'll have to put that on. Forgive my intrusion, Tarnish. You good, baby girl? I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, Learn well the lands between. I will learn. How long them. will it be, I wonder, hmm? before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? She's so cool. Rena. That's what she's calling herself. Rena. <laughs> Not Rena. But whatever. We'll believe her for now. Let's put a pin right here. Perfect. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go. Getting to foul tarnished. Getting to foul tarnished about you. Also, Torrent has the best double jump. Fight me. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, that's right. Uh, side of grace. Let's get off of him. Touch the grace. Look at them all coming. Look at him go. Bye. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know uh touching a side of grace resets all the enemies so everyone that you've killed comes back to life and all of the enemies that were uh you know that were coming after you uh, they don't care about you anymore which is sweet also there's a lot of like discussion oh hello friend of like the lore behind these giant swords hey could you stop Oh, baby. We're not going to die to you, vampire bats. Although I will say with my tiny sword, you are more difficult to beat than with the larger swords. Uh, vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. Isn't that nice? It's so nice. Oh, there goes a friend. Examine. Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blades of Michaela, now on his knees, begging for mercy. Pretty sweet. So, also, you see that bright blue thing? That's the pin that I set. How nice is that? That it's, like, not some clunky UI thing, although you have it on the map, on the top, like you do in Skyrim and stuff like that. 
but it's literally just a beacon that you can walk towards. Frick oh. Who's there? Where are you? I always forget where this guy is. Oh, he's over here. He's in the bush. Right? You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending he's, you can't see he's me. He's this bush man. What'd you go and do that for? I just rolled into you. Oh yes, some Claude turned me into a tree. What a Claude! You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? He's a monkey man. Thank you. The name's Bok. Bok the monkey I man. I was pushed out of the cave, then I ended up as a tree. Tree monkey man. Lucky you came along. Yeah. Well, no problem, oh, bud. When they threw me out of the cave, so this is all I have to express. Oh, I didn't need hope. anything. Oh, thanks for the mushroom. Well, if you like could sneak back into the cave and then I'd be of some real use. Yeah, buddy. You can go in the cave. Right. Uh, I'm... I'm frightened. My knees. So the cave on the shore. Over here. Right? It's over here. Horse. Assemble, horse. Whoops. <laughs> Jump off the horse. Um, yeah, I think the cave is over here somewhere by the shore, but we're gonna go... Yeah, sorry, this game is a lot of moving, so I'm gonna be cutting a lot of stuff out that's just like... Ow! Ow! Thanks! How did I get murdered so fast? Run! Woo! Thanks for the free souls, friend. Ooh, a key just chilling? And a stab in the back. Hey, get your handy jammy stabs out of here. No, thank you. Thank you, baby. Sight of grace. Sight of grace. The Hweeping Peninsula. Yes. Don't mind if I weep upon the peninsula. Yeah, touch the grace. Hello. Can I talk to you, fair maiden? Hello? Is somebody there? It's me. Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? Yes. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. That's where we're heading. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out <clears> the castle, but decided himself to stay. Oh, she says secreted. Secreted. He says it's his duty. As commander. Hmm. Alright, well, cool. <clears throat> the servants are full of wrath. They've since come for every one of the companions. I fear it's no different. Please, would you mind taking a letter in my soul wishes yeah. to escape? Please. I'll take a letter. Thank you. Then please. Thank you. Deliver it to my father. Let's see what it says. I'm curious. I never read the letters. I'm just a curious little kitten, dude. What does her letter say? Um, okay. Oops. Uh, Commander of Castle Morn. That's all the information I get? Fine. Commander of Castle Morn. Well. I know who's there. And it's gonna be fun times. It's gonna be just a great time. I forgot to get to go to Jellyfish Girl. She's my friend. Jellyfish Girl. Hello. Large boy. I'll be leaving you. Hello, puppy dogs. The pupy dog. So these are the, um, this is actually a really cool piece of, of storytelling. That is, um, the servants. The servants are like, got all yuckied. Come here. I'm coming to get you. Don't run from me. These guys are the equivalent of, um, well, they're the, uh, the, the guys that have all, like, the rare stuff. Mighty shot. Mighty Eagle. <laughs> um, yeah, they give you the... A lot of times they'll give you either uh, random things for upgrades or they'll give you Ashes of War. All good stuff. Um, the Ashes of War are very helpful. Oh, is that another Knight's Cavalry? I never go exploring at nighttime. That's what I'm discovering. Never. I always walk around in the day. Because I'm a big wuss. Here we go. Touch it. 
don't. <laughs> he was coming over. Like, horse, go look at the tarnish. Uh, and then there's another dude. So technically, and this is a hilariously horrible part of this game, is that if you don't want to go around to all of these guys to get their stuff, you can just kill them. <laughs> and you can get their stuff at, like, the main hub, which we'll get to eventually. Um, but it's hilarious. You're sitting there and you're like, that's a terrible thing to encourage. The murdering of our friends. Do I have anything to sell? No, not really. Be well. Hi, horse. Horse donkey man. Horse donk. Ooh, map. Mappage. So yeah, that's the castle we need to get into. Because that's the castle that the girl said her dad was at. He secreted her. She was secreted. The we Ooh, oh! <laughs> Forgot about that. The Weeping Peninsula. Hi, sheep. Run, sheep. Fly, you fools. <laughs> Fly, you fools. There's the goops. Is that one of the mariners? Is there a mariner in there? If so, I'd like to, to mariner him. Also, Torrent doesn't get poisoned. He's awesome. Poison boom. That's hilarious. It's like, in all the other Dark Souls games, you were wondering, you're like, how am I supposed to get across this giant lake of nastiness? And in this game, they're like, mm, just ride your horse. <laughs> horse will suffice. Yeah, see that guy? He's doing stuff. He's doing stuff. We don't like him. You can actually go and kill this guy pretty easily. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Leap. about it. He's mad. Oh, he's a grump. Dodge. Oh, he actually hit us with a little stompy feet. He's got stompy feet. Now, I'm pretty sure he's got a weak spot on his noggin. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> As it turns out, I was wrong. <laughs> but we still got him. Thousand souls, easy peasy. He's more cool looking than he is difficult. But he's cool looking. And then we can go to um, check out the big swords. So basically, the gut swords, um, they kind of look like that one. Also, uh, guts is from Berserk. So I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um, but if you've never watched or read it, pretty good read slash watch. The Siege of Cashel Morn. Cashel <laughs> Cashel Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Lord Godfrey. I kind of forget exactly what's going on in all these castles, so you have to forgive me. But I just know that I wanted to go here, because it's fun. We're going to go down. In. Or oh, up. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what's going on in these castles. <laughs> Clearly forget some things of the game. All right, cool. We here. Oh, these boys. Oh, look at these boys. I forget. There's so many dogs. In like other games, the dogs are like the banes of your existence. In this game, they're really not as slippery as they were before. Oh, I say as I'm about to get murdered. Don't do it, dog. Heal. Pick a dog. Don't do it, Pippido! Oh. We dodged the death from the Pupy Dogs. Smithy Stone 2! Also, in this game, sometimes you're never really sure what's dead and what's alive. And you look at it and you're like, hmm. Are you alive or are you dead? I don't really want to start a bunch of shit in here because those guys will all turn towards me and just be like, hmm, death approaches. And once they make that decision, not really that easy to deal with all of them. But. Gotcha. Oh! Oh! Puppy dog! Puppy dog, don't do it! Don't do it, puppy dog! Gotcha. Alright. Look at him. Worshipping stuff. Who's fighting? <laughs> Someone's fighting. Are you up there? Are you fighting up there trying to get to me? The dog. Where were you, buddy? Man, took a lot of damage. 
<gasps> pumpkin head. Do I think I can perfect pumpkin head? We'll see. I don't have any healing. So we'll see. Can I sneaks up on the pumpkins? Can I sneaks up on pumpkins? He's got the delays. That I was talking about. Oh, that one wasn't delayed. Woo! Oh, bonus friend. <laughs> oh, he got me. Oh, but he died. <laughs> that guy killed Pumpkinhead? There's my soul. Whoops. Meant to retrieve my soul. He likes to slam his pumpkin head. Ooh, that's the delay. Come on. I'm telling you, that delay, the delay on the bosses gets wild throughout the game. Oh, there's a friend. Oh, he killed him. Thanks, buddy. Woo! He attacked over the top of me. That was hilarious. All right, well, we killed him. So that's great. Sanctuary stone. Oh, yeah, look at this boy. Look at him coming over here. Oh, he's so grumpy. Yeah. I'm telling you, these swords are so weak, especially once you get the uh, bleeding proc on them. Because then they're just awesome. Can I get one of you? Do I have any items to throw? Can I throw a rock? Yes. Oh, I missed him. Oh, your friend's seen me. The flappers are really not great. Don't love the flappers. Can you come hither? Oh, he notices me too? Okay, don't love that. We're gonna dive. We're gonna dip. Ooh. Ouch. Don't do it. Don't do it. And sight of grace. Touch the grace. <laughs> Rest at the grace. <laughs> oh my gosh, we made it. Cool. Oh, made it. Stressful. Um. Okay, great. Praise the grace. So yeah, that's where I need to go. Right there. That's exactly where I'm headed. That is the boss I've got to beat. He's just the man for the job. Item ahead. Okay. Oh, right there. I could get that. I probably should get that. Why don't I get that? And not die. Ooh, delicious. Stone sword keys. I need those. All right, let's get the talisman. And yep. There it is. Yes. Twin blade talisman. Let's go down. Meow. And uh, meow. And roll. Oops. Okay. Then we go down spears. Seriously, if you haven't played this game before, it is easy to get lost. It's really easy to not know where you're going. And, uh, yeah. That's just the way of, uh, you know, Elden Ring. Go ahead. Get, get to your stuff. Uh, yeah. Got some stuff back. They, um... They give you... I love that they give you the stuff automatically now. Makes life so much easier. Because in Bloodborne, wherever they fell, that's where you had to get them. So that wasn't fun. And the dip. Perfect. Oh, hello. Rat, boys. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Heal. Come at, if you wish. There's so many rats. Dodge. Rats. <laughs> Rat dodge. They, were, they had such ninja syndrome right there. They are just like, let's wait. We don't want to get in anyone's way. <laughs> you know that, that, what is it, where they, uh... I forget what theory that is, where it's like ninja theory, where it's just they all wait their turn patiently in the background. They're like, oh, yeah, I can't wait for him to fight my friend and I won't do anything in the meantime. 
Ugh, thanks, rats. Appreciate that. I probably should rest because I need everything I have for this guy. And I should level up. Do I have enough for levels? Do I have enough for levels? Ooh, I do. Okay, I have enough for two levels. Um, I'll do Vigor. And I'll do Dex. Yes. Okay. 20 Dex is pretty respectable. It's a respectable amount of Dex to go against First Boy. Our first actual boss. I don't actually have to go up here. I can just go straight over there. So why don't I do that? Why don't I? Hello. Hello, Jelly Boys. Alright, we're going. Our first boss. <clears throat> it would be nice to get him first try, but I don't expect myself to. I haven't fought him in a long time. So, let's see. The misbegotten Leonin. Ooh, there he goes. There he goes. I didn't know what I forgot to do. Whoops. Whoops. I'm being a fool. There's my death. I deserved it. I forgot to turn on my my wolves. What I should have done first and foremost. I got completely trashed. <laughs> Reverse. The nightmare fog. Bring the dogs. Come to me, dogs. stuck in there. Not me. Woo. Whoa. No. Okay, okay. We're good. Oh, I used too many. That's going to come back and haunt me. Jump to me, baby. Nice job, dog. Holy, you gotta be kidding me. Nope. We got him! Yes! <laughs> Dogs! The grafted blade the great oh, grafted blade great sword is an awesome weapon, by the way. Um I'm not going strength though, this game. But if you're going strength, I'll show it to you because it's awesome. Look at this thing. I don't care. Get it. It's so cool. And if you didn't believe that George R. R. Martin planned this game, well, guess again. Because <laughs> he definitely did. That's like the most Game of Thronesy thing I've ever seen. Oh, cool. We needed that guy done. Fair. He's barren. Nope. Nope. Don't jump at me. Don't jump at me, bear. Oh, he's jumping. Is he gonna jump again? Ooh, ooh. Nope. Here we go. Oh, I did it again. I, I lay over healed. Oh. Can I get his head? Yes! Bear head. Room bear. Oh. He's only one head away from death. And there he goes. My little bear friend. Oh, let's go drink Talisman. It's completely worthless. Yay! Mausoleum prowls, revealing the soulless demigod. O America, Queen Eternal, here he is your unwanted child. Oh, bad. Church of Pilgrimage. <gasps> yes, I knew there was a reason I came here. Sacred Tear! Woo! That is totally worthwhile. Let me show you. 
Uh, where is the sacred here? I'm guessing, is it in key items? There it is. Improves sacred flasks potency. So, if I was to touch this site of grace now, you get, so there is like actual benefits to, you know, exploring in this game, which is nice. Flasks. Increase amount of healing. Yes. So now we heal more. Sweet. Which is awesome. The churches are generally worthwhile going. Pro tip. Go to the churches. Be wary of boss. Yeah, I know it's a boss. Time for holy. I don't have holy damage. Become. Woo! Hey, don't. Oh man, he, does, he takes a ton of dang it. Oh, oh there we go. Let's just heal up because we're gonna be able to kick his butt. Oh my lord. Oh. Yeah, what a boss. The cemetery shade. We've got uh, Lhutl, the headless. Thank you, Lhutl. Oh, Lhutl. Woo! Uh, also. Root resin. This is where you get root resin if you need it for crafting. All right, limb grave. So, for this part, all you want to do, get on your horse uh, and just run. Because just to be honest, this area is problematic. Yep. Yep. You could try to fight your way through that, but it's just kind of like not worth your time at all, and it's just a hard stop for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's a moose. Now where is the site of grace? Storm Hill. Oh, is this jellyfish girl? <gasps> Who's hurrooing at me? Oh, look at these thunder wolves. Assemble thunder wolves. Thunder wolf. Oh. I understand that the camera work is probably making you bar. Because I, too, am barfing. Gotcha. Was it necessary for me to do that? No. Hey. Hey. Stop. I'm getting down. Got you, wolf. All right, cool. We got him. We got him. We got him. I'm pretty sure that those wolves are there. So you have to get off and, and talk to this young lady right here. Who, to be fair, is a, is a very kind person. All she does is give you a jellyfish. Let's go talk to her. Yes, lost praise. I'll talk to you. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Let me get your... Oh. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Let me fumble around these logs for a hot minute and see what's going on. Ooh, Stone Sword Key. That is such a clutch pickup. What's going on? Everyone's been grafted. <laughs> Gross. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. Only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. That's... Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. Oh, isn't it? Yes. Sitting sideways. I would like to sit sideways. Don't mind being a little bashful gal. You're all on your own, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Stormville Castle. The one in the white mask, I suppose. Well, that makes us. T I don't have your career. It's scary, you know, having your. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm, I'm nothing but a. Cr okay, well, give me. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? Yeah, I'll take your jellyfish. You deserve someone, and the spirits will be glad of your. So the the jellyfish summon. People sleep on it. Pretty solid summon. Honestly, uh, it has a ton of health. Uh, it doesn't do a ton, but it does do poison damage, which is pretty great, all things considered. Um, so if you're looking to do some poison damage, have something that's going to survive an actual boss encounter, because the wolves, like, they're gone in, like, 30 seconds, you know? So if you're having a hard time with the wolves actually being around, don't get out your horse. Whee! Whoa! The booty stomp! Don't do it, friend. Once again, 
We circle. And we butt stab. Butt stab. Thank you. Um, yeah. Sorry, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, if you're struggling with boss encounters, having like a summon that actually lives for more than like five seconds, the jellyfish is not bad. Um, and the poison, and the clutch, just to be real. I think it is at least. Oh, I know you're trying to lure me into some danger. Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> That's danger. Come on, run. Get him. Ashes of War Wild Strikes. Woo! We dodge. We dip. We dive. We dodge. It's so funny. I always do this with um with my horse. And yet I'm just choosing to just flop my way through. That's alright. Whee! Too, if you so wish. Wow, I caught that in the face. Jeez! Heal. Look at him. Look at this guy. Uh, but the funny thing is, you get in here, and there is a uh, side of grace right here. So, you know, just turn it on, touch the grace, and you're good to go. He's coming if you want to. And no thanks. You can go back and fight them all if you want to, but not really much of a need to do it. Uh, there's not really anything to be gained from fighting every single mob in this game, especially since everything is uh, not linear. It's just kind of is what it is. Do I have anything in or I don't really want to sort the chest. I want to go. Should I do that? <laughs> uh, I kind of want to try out the headless, but I don't really trust them. So... You know, I think we're pretty good here. We'll use the wolves for the boy. If you know who I'm coming after, you'll know exactly what's about to happen. And it's going to be one die. Because this, this right here, is our first real challenge of this game. And the challenge it will be. It's also the first time we've called Foul. In search of the Elden Ring. Mm. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Mm. He's an awesome character, by the way. Leave. Ooh. Have at the vile beast. <laughs> Let it be Margaret the Fell. Yeah, and you think that the cutscene is like, oh, he's so far away? No, he's not. I'm telling you, the delays. Come in, Margaret. Oh, his range is quite girthy. He's got that girthy boy range. And the, the wolves are actually kind of clutch for Margaret because they can distract for a hot minute. Come to me, Margaret, the guilty boy. Oh, see the wolves distract. Not enough distraction. No. Also, if you go to the side, you will fall off the edge. Which is very rude. He will never. Don't get my dogs. He got my dog. Oh, he be slicing. Oh, I took some damage from Margaret. Oh, here comes the flames. Ready? Awesome move. Oh, he plowed. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hit him with the boss. Hit him with the boss sauce. Shabam! You have to retarget him. I know it sounds silly. It is the way of the Elden Lord. Retargeting is required. Roll into him. That's right, baby. Margaret, we gonna first try it, baby. I shouldn't be talking trash. He got his grumps out. Alright, alright, we just need to be patient. Yeah, target the dough. Oh, I don't need to be getting cocky. 
once he gets going, once he gets going, he'd be getting going. Oh, I couldn't even see him. No. 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 Oh, man, I should have had him. That was rude. That was very rude, Margaret. Yeah, I got cocky. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just hung around, but we got real close. Woo. All right, boys. Second time's the charm with Margaret. Margaret. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming for that booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come at me. I don't like him over there. Because if there's the dogs can't really Okay, there we go. No. Oh he be tapping. Oh he tapping. Let's heal. Let's not be fools. Yep, love it, love it. Don't love it. Less loving it. Margaret. Oh he getting hammery. Here he comes. Ready? Yeah, baby. And then get him with the sauce. A little bit of sauce for the market. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Let's heal up. Let's just be nice and safe. Dogs distract Margaret. He'll never see the dogs coming. He's seen the dogs coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Let's heal. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah, Bubba. Come on over. Dogs distract. Oh, he's killed the dog. Man, how did he get me? Dog. Dog. Go, dog. Nope. Nope. And here comes. Oh, he got my dog. You didn't die, me, mean dog. Oh. Thank you for your service, dog. <laughs> Talisman pouch. I got a pouch for Talisman. And I smoldering eat. All right, buddy. Whatever you say, Margaret. <laughs> well, he whooped our butt once. We'll take that. But you know, we're not mad about it. Oh, is our friend coming? Hey, girl, what's up, baby? Forgive me. I've been testing you. What kind of death? To see whether or not Grace truly does guide you. He does. And whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. I couldn't tell you if I'm it fit. I am a duck man. It were unfounded. <laughs> Torrent had your measure from the very start. He is a good boy. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. Yes. I can take you to the round table hall. Dude, I want to go there. Gathering place of tarnished That's where I can put bleed on my swords. Guided by grace. Yeah. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Let it rest upon me. My duck lip boy. Yes. Uh, the round table hold is the equivalent of like uh Firelink Shrine in Dark Souls 3. Um, or the Nightmare in Nightmare Dream in Bloodborne. Uh, where you talk to Gurman. Um, yeah. Uh, we're tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non-aggression. Rule is in effect when the round table icon is displayed. The round table hold is located outside of this world, and fast travel by grace is only is the only means of reaching it. There you go. So you can only get here by fast travel. Uh, and look at this boy. Gideon. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. And it is safe here. Tell me more, I'll Gideon. You are a mere visitor, house mm -hmm. guest. Yet to remember your place, newcomer. He's rude. Um, but you know that's the way he is. Ah, hello. I'm well. Just call me Dialos. The Dialos. Old house holds little import in these. By the way, she's my servant. But fickle, take your eyes off her for but a. <laughs> if you find her, 
Uh, let's just clear out some conversations here. There's no one in here yet. Okay, that's good to know. But basically... Is Edgelord here? No. Oh, there's our blacksmith. Uh, remember uh, the deathbed lady? There she is. She's a deathbed lady. What a friend. And this guy is who we really need to talk to. Your new face. Loud your arms. So here is where we can do all the stuff. We can do Ashes of War on our weapons. We can do Ashes of War duplication. We can strengthen our armaments. We can do all that stuff right here, which is perfect. Um, yeah, and we'll be able to put fire and stuff or burn a, or what's it called? Bleed on our swords. Either way, this episode has been awesome. We got through the first real test of the game. And yeah, I'm excited to continue to boosh this game on down. So thank you guys for coming along with me. Uh, and it's going to be a really, really fun jaunt through Elden Ring. I won't do everything in the game, but I'm going to do a lot of the stuff in the game. So if you want to see more of that, stay tuned. And hit me with a like. <laughs> hit me with a like and subscribe if you can. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next Elden Ring Glory. Peace. We're getting glorious. Getting up to mischief. Don't wait, cause we're coming in hot. Let's see some